Good day everyone, my name is Arslan and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. So I hope you guys are good, I hope everything is fine on your side. And uh, guys, today we have uh, a continuation of our gas station project. We are going to continue our gas station proposals. So until now we have one, two, three and four, the, the parametric design which looks so nice. And uh, we have the composite wall, we have the perforated wall, we have the wall holder wall. Today is something similar but we are going to be making a pattern and uh, you know the method is going to be a bit different, right? So now I have to speed up. We are going to be using the curtain wall method, right? So in the curtain wall method, you, you make a curtain panel family and then you uh, import that family into the curtain wall, right? So uh, this is going to be the... Uh, P A T T E R and pattern of family, right? So this is our own duplicate wall that we made. Let's quickly just made it before before I mean making the the actual. And uh, you know how about uh, how about a rotated one? A rotated one always looks better. Uh, okay, and we can even make a straight one. No big deal. So a rotated and a straight. All right, perfect. So this is our curtain uh, our curtain wall. Now let's go to family. Let's go to new. Let's go to uh, families, all right? And you know the method is all based on curtain wall panels, all right? <laughs> we are gonna open a curtain wall template and then we are gonna make our design in that. So, you know, patterns, for example, if we simply go to Google and if we write pattern designs, these designs are infinite. Look at all the different patterns we have. And, uh, you know, in fact, this one looks so good. So we are gonna be making something similar to this, all right? These designs are infinite as long as you can make them. It's all up to you. So, uh, you know, the size of this, I think, uh, okay, let's press UN first of all. Let's change this to millimeters. Okay. Two decimal places, not three. Uh, two, okay, okay. So let's make this 200 by 200. Uh, 200. So, I mean, the size, I want it to be 400 by 400 mm, right? Something easy. Uh, create extrusion. So the first rectangle and uh, the first rectangle is going to be okay and check this design as well. I just saw it right now and I really like it so let's try to replicate that the second one is going to have an offset of um, of course 20 mm because uh, okay yes space bar to put it inwards okay so that is the exterior sort of a layout or a cover then uh, you know there are a bunch of I think steps oh my god we forgot to turn that off so zero and uh, so there are a bunch of steps now i think you guys just just try to follow me it's nothing hard it's not hard at all so okay now that is done now let's click on that let's give it an offset of 15. so one and two and one and two one and two perfect check this out okay that is done now we'll be using the cutting tool so cut cut and uh cut and uh, cut all right um, and uh, cut and uh, cut and cut and uh, cut and uh, right here okay so now two minute extend one and uh, two perfect uh, one and two all right mm, so let's trim and extend all of these and uh, one and uh, two and one and two and one and two all right so now let's uh, delete the the internal we have delete and uh, delete okay now this a uh, big part is done now it's also completing the square right we have to um, complete our shape not a square um, okay so now let's try to complete that quickly so trim and extend one and two perfect okay done nothing hard very simple and uh, fine and done what uh, why can't we delete that um, so delete manually uh, nopes uh, back we did not cut it properly. Cut. Uh, highlighted lines overlap fine if they overlap. Okay, how about. Um, no, but we do not need that. Delete. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so, what should we do with this? There's a small line internally. Okay, how about we go to back? And uh, so now, um, trim and extend. One and two. And one and two okay perfect that is trim and extended okay okay and uh, fine fine and uh, fine fine um oh my god the last one is left <coughs> guys excuse my sore throat it has been a month and i'm still struggling with this back uh trim and extend and a one and a two okay so <coughs> excuse me guys um 
what's wrong with this why why are we having problems this is so easy uh, cut and uh, to, to an extent right so now let's just simply do this man will you alright so our shape is complete right and uh, check this out this is our shape nothing, nothing hard it just took a bit time fine so this is it guys this is our pattern and uh, it wasn't hard at all so let's go to our front and uh, <coughs> excuse me now let's change the materials to a controllable parameter so this is going to be the PATTR pattern uh, wood fine fine let's go to that let's change this to to W O O D and uh, anything anything um, okay this one the sort of uh, cardboard wood <laughs> all right so now uh, let's let's save that because it's gonna give us problems uh, because you know the names are the same so family pattern 5 and I definitely want one copy it's fine save 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 yes I want to override that and now let's load it into the project so now let's go to our previous loan let's close all in active use so let's go to that now you know the trick is in the, the curtain panels right so these are um, these are our curtain panels okay uh, fine let's leave the the curved one alone for a moment so now let's go to edit type and uh, let's go to um so this is the trick right so the family pattern do you guys so this is the one that we made now the size is uh, 400 by 400 right 400 and by 400 apply and check this out guys so our pattern is complete so this is it i mean you know we have in a way done this method but without the adaptive family so this is an easier method of doing it it saves time <coughs> excuse me and you know it even saves energy it's easy on the system so take care of yourself have a good day and i hope you enjoyed the video right take care of yourself bye bye